Carlsbad, people, purpose, and impact. An essential podcast for those who live, work, visit, and play in Carlsbad. Good morning and welcome everyone. My name is Brett Schonsenbach. I'm the president and CEO of the Carlsbad Chamber of Commerce and I am your host today. And I'm excited to have with me one of my board members, Mr. Claude Jones. Claude is the vice president of engineering at Strava and also the CEO of the San Diego Tech Hub. Good morning, Claude. Hey, good morning. Appreciate being here, Brett. Yeah, good to have you. So before we uh, jump into some of the cool things you do for a living, I also noticed that uh, you're an Aztec. Is that right? That's right. Yeah. Go that's, Aztecs. Go Aztecs. <laughs> yes. It's so fun having them here in our community. They they do us proud quite a bit with uh, all their, I mean, academics too, but we focus on, I mean, I focus on basketball, there but others know. focus on their football <laughs> and everything else. But uh, no, it's great. So um, Strava, before we go into Tech Hub, which is going to be uh, a lot of interesting stuff, tell everybody a little bit about what Strava is and what they do there. Yeah, so Strava is a fitness tracking app. And, um, you know, primarily they got started uh, focusing on cycling and, and running, but they, you know, use GPS tracking to um, help monitor your progress. Mm. And there's a social uh, aspect to it as well. And so you're really building a community of, of athletes there. They're based out of San Francisco. Um, the company's about 13 years old. You know, they've been, been really gaining some steam. I think just recently they have about 100 million uh, active users on their platform, 100 million users on their platform nice. uh, to date. So, um, yeah, I had the opportunity to join them about six months ago, leading up their engineering. It's been a great, great ride. Very nice. And so you're going to build a little team here in Carlsbad for them, hopefully? Yeah. You know, that's the hope. You know, nice. um, you know, I worked at Walmart Labs prior to joining yeah. Strava. And one of the things I'm a huge advocate on helping to build, you know, a tech ecosystem out here. So um, I think over the next uh, next year or so, you know, looking at investing and, and building up a team. That's exciting. Very, very exciting. And as you've already teased up, your passion is building a tech eco hub here or a center here. So let's talk about the San Diego Tech Hub. So looks like, again, when you were at Walmart Labs, um, you started it back in 2018. So tell us what was the thought behind, you know, starting this and, and you know, then we'll kind of get into what it does and where we're at today and things like that. Yeah, definitely. The San Diego Tech Hub you know, its charter and its mission has evolved over time. Um, back in 2018, we had just moved into a 30,000 square foot building uh, at Walmart Labs. Yeah. And um, the company wanted to invest in the great talent out here in San Diego. So we had to hire about 180 people. Oh, um, that's a lot. <laughs> in a very short time period. You're telling me, man. Oh. I was only really familiar with kind of North County and yeah. some of the companies that were there. And so... Um, the San Diego Tech Hub originally started with kind of as a marketing way of trying to brand Walmart Labs, sure, help to kind yeah. of attract some talent and see what we can't do to tap into the talent pool. And um, we had this big event. And as part of that event, I was asking individuals that had come, hey, what do you think about San Diego and the talent here? And the consistent message that I heard is that the only thing San Diego is really good for is biotech and uh, uh, military. And I was thinking... That's not true. Yeah. And so um, San Diego Tech Hub, I guess, as its root started with how can we help elevate all of the tech companies here? Say that we don't need to compete with um, Silicon Valley, Seattle, you know, mm -hmm. out there in Austin at all, that we have a lot of great talent here uh, out in San Diego. I would say after three months, that charter then evolved to if we could bring people together and ask the question, what can I do for you instead of, you know, what can you do for me? We realized that a tech hub was really about connecting needs to opportunity mm -hmm. and really bringing community together yeah. to help others succeed um, and create the opportunities that they need. So we are now an organization that really is focused on, you know, connecting needs to opportunities and helping others. That's fascinating. And I know I came into kind of the Carlsbad scene in 2019. So it was still kind of in its infancy. And of course, obviously 2020, we'll talk about that with COVID a bit. Um, that wasn't fun for any of us, but mm -hmm. there was a lot of energy, you know, you guys were holding monthly networking meetings and then there was 
all kinds of like uh, committees and activities coming so or going and um, it was really it was really quite energizing and and fun as it got going I saw that I know it was about like you said connecting opportunities with people but you guys got involved in other social goods and and uh, passion projects and things like that. So how did that kind of come about and where do you where do you see that? Yeah, you know, when we talk about just the community aspect, San Diego Tech Hub had a couple different components, as you mentioned. It was a connect and form and empower is what really what we had. So that connect part really with the events that we had in our heyday, we have over 300 some odd people that would come out to the building. And wow. the connection was um, sort of a, a networking event. You know, we had different booths and different sponsors that were highlighting companies within the area, um, innovations that were going on. And it was just a chance for people to network and just build authentic connections. And so there, there was that aspect of it. The informed piece is we would have different topics that people could speak on, whether it was topics that um, would help motivate you mentally, some topics on imposter syndrome. Mm. Um, we'd have topics on entrepreneurship. We had topics on helping to build your own brand. So yeah. it was, again being able to tap into the knowledge pool of, of folks and then being able to kind of share that knowledge with others. The convert uh, then by connecting and informing, empowering came. And so as you were kind of alluding to various passion projects and things that were going on, we really wanted to empower others to help make an impact in the community. And so one of the um, programs that we did, which I know that you were a part of, was the Be The Boss program. Love that program. And um, this was something where one of the the members, we call them conduits, yep. uh, conduits for change, had said, hey, what can we do to kind of mentor and give back? We worked with a local school out in Vista. Um, we worked with high school, I think high school seniors, um, seniors yeah. that had come out. And we took them through this entrepreneurship boot camp. And yeah. it was really a, an opportunity for them to take an idea that they have and bring it to fruition to saying, hey, this could be a business. And between building their brand, building their marketing strategy, a business plan, um, you know, a pitch deck, you know, that they could present. It was great to see community members come together to help these students. It was a six week program. By the end of it, you could see the confidence of folks not wanting to speak, you know, in front of an audience to at the end, they were speaking and, you know, having a great time. Um, so it was great too. I mean, I, I served as a mentor in that program yeah. and, um, and it was nice cause there was, um, like, at least two mentors kind of for each of the high school students, which I remember at first thinking, wow, two mentors per student, that's a lot. But it was actually worked out phenomenal because each mentor has such different life experiences to, you know, bring and to share with um, the various students. I thought at the end, I thought, oh, that was genius because <laughs> um, I know my co-mentor uh, had so much different experience than I did. So it, I think I felt it was very complimentary for the student that we were mentoring, but um, yeah, watching them evolve was beautiful and and just seeing how they all, you know, came from have an idea to a business plan, you know, yeah. that was, it was really neat. You know, again, in 2019, that was the summer of 2019, I yeah, believe, right? That's right. And uh, I was like, oh, this will be, this would be exciting and we could blow this up and make it big. And then comes the spring of 2020 and everything changed. So we're going to, on that note, we're going to take a quick pause. We've been talking with Claude Jones, the VP of engineering at Strava and the CEO of San Diego Tech Hub. And we'll be right back to talk about adaptations during COVID and where we are today. So COVID hit and you guys had had these massive events and a lot of energy behind you. And so I know you guys pivoted, everybody's favorite word at that time, at least. I think we're all sick of that word, but we all had to. <laughs> we had to pivot. So tell us how you guys ad adapted and and kept the organization alive. And then let's get to where we are today. Awesome. Yeah. You know, that was probably one of the hardest things during that time period. I remember we had our March event and we had everything lined up and, you know, other companies were, were shutting down, you know, closing and you know, when I had to make that call to cancel that meeting, it, it really hurt. Yeah. And so we did scramble a little bit on trying to figure out what was going on. And during that time, I mean, between COVID, you know, the murder of George Floyd, I mean, there was yeah. so much happening around that time period. So much. Um, yeah. So it was hard. 
So as part of our strategy on adapting, of course, everything was virtual, do these virtual meetings. Yep. And I think the first virtual meeting we had, we were just bringing people together, yeah. just trying to figure out what's going on. How do we kind of navigate around this ambiguity and just being just being at home all the time? But then things started kind of tapering off. I yeah. think people were Zoomed out, Zoom fatigue, you know, yep. all these things going on. So going from 300 down to 10 people showing up for a meeting was definitely, it hurt a little bit. And we were trying to figure out, like, how do we keep bringing the community together? I think the thing that helped during that time period was just the consistency, whether it was one person, whether it was 20 or 30, we were just consistent with it. We record the sessions and make sure that we were still still there. Um, and, as, you, and you didn't fold up and just go away. No, and Yeah. And I no. think that part of the consistency has to have helped. Yeah. It's just, it's being consistent, not folding up, not giving up. Well, and we should probably say this, um, and this is all super grassroots. I yeah. mean, this is, there's no like big corporate sponsorship behind this. These are just passionate people who That's right. yourself as the leader, but caring about the tech community in San Diego and North County. And so it would have been easy to just kind of say, okay, we're going to fold up for uh, however long. Well, not that was part of the problem. None of us knew how long it was going to be, but, um, but you didn't. Yeah. And, you know, you mentioned an important thing, like this is a volunteer based, you know, organization. And so you have passionate people that want to give back, that have a purpose, they care about their city, um, and they want to make an impact. And as difficult as it was during that time, there's a very positive story to now share. So there is a silver lining in it. And it talks about the resiliency, bringing people together, which I again think is sort of the spirit of what San Diego Tech Hub is, uh, is about. And so, you know, I get to share these stories about that resiliency, um, not packing up, giving up, and the power of community and how we're able to continue to thrive. So it's it's been a great journey. Yeah. And and now we're we're not. Gosh, are we ever going to say we're past COVID? I mean, we, we kind of have ways where we feel like we're past it, and then it kind of rears its ugly head again. But um, but at least we're back to some semblance of getting back in person and doing things again. So tell us, what you, what are the events that are going on these days? Yeah. So one of the things that we did realize, which was a difficult decision to, to make, is that we said, okay, we're going to pause our virtual meetings uh, just because people want to make these physical connections again and yeah. the turnout hasn't been good. And so we are actively looking for um, a physical space kind of in the middle of North, North County and in um and um, kind of the southern southern part of San Diego. So we're hoping to get something going in, in the August time frame to have like a, a big kickoff meeting to kind of bring folks together. So that's exciting and preparing for awesome. that. Awesome. And you've done some. So yeah, we've, we've done some. And so we've, we've also have um, a happy hour component that yeah. we do. Um, so Culver Brewing, mm -hmm. uh, we had an opportunity just to kind of um, sync up with the owner there. And he's given us a sweet deal of $2 beers and some oh, good food. And <laughs> we, we um, you know, we've had some great, great turnouts there. So that's about every third um, Thursday of, of the month. That's and, in, and that's in Carlsbad. That's in Carlsbad. Yeah, I need that's to get Carlsbad. them as members. I don't have them as members. Oh yet. yeah, they're good. Let me know. I could talk to Ben <laughs> that, for you. That's but, awesome. Um, it's 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 a great spot. Uh, and then we do volunteer based events yes. as well. And so uh, next month on the 18th, I believe, we are doing Feeding San Diego, where we're going to get together and help just address food insecurities with within the, the county. So yeah, and I saw that it is on June 18th. Yeah. yeah so. That's exciting. So again, continuing that that original thought that evolved of giving back and doing social good in addition to, it's not just about, you know, business, business, business. It's about giving back, which I think is, you know, a phenomenal combination mixture that we all need and and uh, the world needs, let's be honest. Yes. Um, so with all this question, is San Diego a tech hub? The answer to that is yes. Yes. Yeah. I, I really truly believe San Diego is a tech hub. And I feel that we have an opportunity to really define what that means for us. Um, for me, what that means is that, number one, acknowledging and recognizing the talent that we have here um, within San Diego. I think, number two, it's also acknowledging the businesses that we have and the opportunities that these businesses create for professionals that, that exist here. Um, the third is hoping to connect the dots between um, the passions, entrepreneurs, social change makers, um, you know, professionals. 
that to me makes up the ecosystem. And if we can get them to collaborate, to communicate, to, you know, ask the question, how can I help you succeed? That forms the basis of a, a tech hub for me. Yeah. And I think um, it's important. We should probably highlight here a little bit that the San Diego Tech Hub gatherings, whether they're networking or, you know, outreach. And as you come back to hopefully some large events again, um, it's not just for people who themselves are techies. It's that's, I mean, there was plenty of folks like, I'm not a techie. I mean, you know, <laughs> I'm a wannabe techie, but who, uh, you know, people who are passionate about seeing that community thrive here, but there's just people who are kind of interested in tech or just people who are interested in connecting and doing social good. I mean, there was a, a quite a diversity of folks involved. Yeah. And again, that, when you talk about that, you think about community, you think about a village, you think about folks helping each other out. A, a perfect example, because I know you do Rising Star yeah. and, um, you know, really helping, um, you know, that young leaders, yes. you know, sort of rise up there. And But imagine if you wanted to have, um, you know, a speaker that talks about different career opportunities, you know, mm -hmm. professionally. Going to one of these events, you can tap into someone that is willing to speak or share their knowledge and expertise with helping the youth. You know, that's a networking opportunity where you have a you have a need, you have an opportunity that someone wants to maybe share. Boom, you're you're hoping to connect the dots there. It has nothing really to do with tech other than helping to you being a bridge or a conduit to kind of help someone need that might have an interest in, you know, a technical field. Um, but yeah, technology is everywhere within the DNA of, of what we do. So true. So true. And I think um, another point that right now we're in this incredibly wonky job market, you mm -hmm. know, where the demand for people is so high. And I know I found that, you know, being a chamber, obviously there's times when people come to me, hey, we're looking for this, or we're looking for that. And I know there's been times when I tapped into the tech hub <laughs> ecosystem. And for those that don't know exactly what that means, I mean, they're, they're, Obviously, there's a community that meets, but there's also a backbone on, um, oh, what do you call it? The uh, Slack and yeah, LinkedIn. Yeah, the Slack channel. Yeah, yeah and, and LinkedIn and the Slack channel. And you can go post things and just say, hey, company I know is looking for this or looking for that. And what a fantastic way of spreading the word and getting it out there. Yeah, it, it truly is an organic thing. I mean, it. when I was thinking about back and looking at 2000. 18, I think it was back back in December 2018, we had like 30 people in the room. Mm. Um, fast forward two months later, I mean, it grew to 3,000. And, you know, again, these were just individuals that had a passion about helping others and, you know, trying to find jobs, just networking in a different way. It truly is a, a powerful thing when you combine the social aspect with the professional aspect, you know, with the community or industry aspect. It, there's something magical there. Yeah, no, I agree. Well, that's great. It's great that it's coming back and getting getting uh, some feet under it again with the, the happy hours and then the networking events that you're planning for in August. So you don't anticipate they'll necessarily, I know you're personally not at uh, Walmart Labs or anymore, but um, you don't anticipate that being the spot per se. No. Yeah. Yeah. That was such a big you it know, was. place. It was. It was. It was cool, but... That's okay. Find something else really super cool. Needs to hold a lot of people. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Very awesome. Well, I'm ready for the next round to be the boss and let's get that baby going again. And oh, yeah. uh, I just think that what you've created is such a great service to the overall business community here in um, San Diego. And as you said very well, tech touches everything. I mean, yeah. There's pretty much no company out there that doesn't need some form of tech or IT or programming or whatever. So great service. And um, I think we're blessed to have it right here in North County and uh, hope it finds a solid location up here in Carlsbad. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're looking. Um, and that was one of the gaps. People mentioned like, hey, there's nothing in North County for, you know, any sort of events. You have to travel downtown. So it, it's, it's great to see that there is a passion and an interest for people to have something like this here. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to come and share with us. I, w I do want to ask if somebody is brand new, they're hearing this on this podcast and they're like, oh, how do I find out more? Where's the best place for them to go to learn more? San Diego Tech Hub uh, is the best place to go. And you can check out, you know, how we start and what's going on. There is a link to resources, which allows you to sign up to our chat channel, uh, our meetup.com um, to where any you'll get notifications on any events that, that we have planned. 
you know, you can also connect with me on LinkedIn and also claude.jones at San Diego Tech Hub.com. There you go. Folks, you've heard it here. Join it. Get Become part of the wave. Become part of the, the San Diego Tech ecosystem. We'd That's love right. to have you. Thanks, Brad. Right. Thanks, Brad. I appreciate it. Thanks for joining us on our Carlsbad People, Purpose, and Impact podcast today. If you enjoyed it, please hit the follow button on wherever you get your audio. And please tell a friend. We would love to hear your feedback, which you can share at carlsbadpodcast.com. You can leave us a review, ask a question, or leave an audio comment, which we can play on the show in the future. And that's all we have for today. Can't wait to see you next time on Carlsbad People, Purpose, and Impact. And remember, share some kindness today. It's free, creates goodwill, and makes you feel great.